Okay, just maybe one could say every good project begins when you can uh, when you can fire up the shop heater. The critical part of just about any project. got the shop heater going and uh, it's a uh, crisp 58 degrees in the shop and man it's just gorgeous outside it's a day like today that I got to get out in the shop and get back on my project I have always wanted to do a grandfather clock and uh, well, some, some pieces of the puzzle came together, and I'm able to do that now. I am just excited about it, really. And, um, well, I wanted to kind of get started today with where I began yesterday. And this is the, the beginning of uh, yesterday. I pieced together the base and um, came out pretty good pretty simple construction um, uh, the the grandfather clock is a kit I chose a kit because uh, I wanted to be assured of the cuts I've got all the equipment necessary to do one from scratch and I decided I would probably gain a lot of good knowledge from the kit <coughs> so I, I went ahead and went with that um, that way I know how the cuts are supposed to look like and uh, how the construction is going to take place. Uh, I bought the plans over a year ago <coughs> and like I said some, some pieces of the puzzle didn't come together until just recently and I am excited about it. Uh, this is your the base of the project, uh, the clock base. It's uh, inch and five eighths thickness. Um, it's 45, uh, 45, it's mitered uh, 45 degrees and joined together with biscuits. Um, yesterday I had a little bit of a trouble with one of the biscuits, it was a little oversized and I uh, had to shave it down, but uh, everything, everything came together on it. And uh, today we'll start the uh, step two of the, of the project. So uh, here we go. Well, I'm at the stage now where I'm going to be assembling the sidewalls and the clock face. I've, I'm kind of doing this uh, right out of the box, so to speak, uh, almost literally. And um, I, as you can tell, I've got my strap hinges laid out, or strap uh, clamps laid out for, uh, for clamping. And I've got the, the uh, straps running underneath the, uh, the face frame of the clock as well as the uh, the two sides um, so now I began the arduous process of uh, erecting this and clamping it now it's a difficult enough task by yourself I'm going to be attempting it uh, by myself and from being in a wheelchair uh, not that that's no big deal, but uh, it does pose some some complications there. I really don't know if this is going to work or not.
Okay, <clears throat> I've got it all framed up, and frankly, surprised that it went as well as it did. Um, I'm pretty pleased with the use of the uh, the shelf brackets. Um, as you saw in the video, uh, I set these up to hold the side panels in place, and I have to say it was as good as a as a second person helping me uh, put this together. Although a second person would have been a lot easier, but uh, it, it was it was very helpful. So from the standpoint of a disability, you got to try to come up with an alternative to some of your plan A's. Um, so we did come up with plan B, and it worked out pretty nicely. Everything's uh, everything's set. So that's that. <laughs>